hope you had a lovely night. Locked in this old trunk where you belong. If I open it, will you finally start cooperating? Ugh, I told you not to call me. Ignore. Now, where were we? Oh, right. Unlocking this trunk and freeing this disobedient hunk of junk. So, hubby, are we ready to- What? It's empty! Hubby? Holiday? Great. Uh, hi, Dad. What's up? I was about to head to work, but I thought we could talk about school. I told you, it's ridiculous for me to go and pretend there's anything they could teach me. I, I understand that, but there's so much more to it. The social aspect, the other kids, not to mention the public face. Hey, have you seen Hubby by any chance? Cyrus found him in that trunk and took him to school. Why would he do that? He said the board seemed really damaged. <laughs> well, sure. From what happened on the island. Sai thought he'd take a shot at fixing Hovey up in Robotics Lab. Robotics Lab? You know, maybe I should rethink this whole school thing. Really? I mean, if Cyrus and Bertie and Casey are going, I may be a bot, but it's nice to have friends and play recess and, I don't know, school it up. School it up. I'd like to go. Wow. This went a lot better than I thought it would. I guess that's because you're an excellent father. Can you give me a ride? I'd love to. Great. I just can't wait to see the progress Cyrus has made on Hubby. Let's roll. Alright, Hubby, just you and me. Let's see what's going on in there. Don't worry, Hubs, this won't hurt a bit. Ah! Whoa, sorry, sci-fi. Just me. Oh, hey, hey, uh, Casey. Um, what, what, I mean, I didn't expect you, it's... <laughs> yeah, uh, surprise. I just thought I'd give you a hand with Hubby. Oh, that'd be great, uh, like old times, you and me in the robotics lab. Like old time. It's weird being back here, huh? At school? Yeah, I mean, it's good I did all the extra credit work while we were on the run. Otherwise, they'd probably hold me back a grade and... You did mean school, right? Sure. But hey, as rough as missing all that time at school was, at least you got to see things. You got to travel the country and be in new places. I mean, I guess that's true. But that whole time, no matter where we were, at the end of the day, I had the same wish. Yes, me too. Once I woke up from the coma, I couldn't help but think about one thing and one thing only. Getting, Getting out of Juno. Juno. You wanted to come back? Well, yeah. Juno's our home. It's yours, too. I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, we're your corp. Hardly a home. They controlled everything I did, even put a chip in my head. All I ever thought about was getting out, getting away, to see the Eiffel Tower and, and the Taj Mahal, go to New York, Los Angeles. I've been to LA and not all it's cracked up to be. But the point is, you've been there. It's not like I was visiting on vacation. We left here, left you, because we had no choice. Everything I did since that moment was to get back here, to you. And everything I did since that moment was to get as far away from here as possible. So, have you seen Brindley? Uh, sure, let's double down on the awkward. Feels like a good plan. Uh, no, I haven't seen her. She wanted space, she gets space. Yeah, she tends to get what she wants. Besides, now that Holiday is home... Whoa, Hubby, calm down! Cyrus, what did you do? N nothing, I barely even touched him. Then why is he freaking out? I don't know. Hubby, shh. Okay, calm down. It's like he started panicking when you mentioned Holiday. Oh, for the love of science. What? Timmy fell down a well. Huh? You know, like, like Lassie. I think Hubby's trying to tell us that Holiday is in trouble. Brin! Brinley! Come sit here, everyone's so happy you're back. Totally don't blame you, Jesslyn. I'd miss me too. So, where have you been? You came back and then you like, disappeared again. 
I was on an island in the tropics. It was fabulous, super restful. I'm so jelly. Tell me everything. What were the beaches like? What were the boys like? <laughs> was time for beaches. But you were in the tropics. And as for boys, who needs them? I'm done with them until my late mid-twenties at least. And you should be too. But why? Because there are more important things. I'm going to focus on my career. We're 13. Which is not a moment too soon to start planning your future. I mean, there are so many options, right? You have to start working out the right ones. Like for instance, undergrad versus grad. Do I want to go to Harvard first and then Columbia or do I? Whoa. I know, it's such a tough decision. Not that. Look who just walked in. Holiday? Really, Miss Mallon, I, I really need to head to the robotics lab. The guidance counselor said you belong here. So have a seat. Class will begin soon. <sighs> this ought to be interesting. Holiday, what are you doing here? Well, I was headed for the science lab when some guidance lady grabbed me and ushered me in here. But why are you in school? I'm a kid, remember? I'm just trying to fit in. You and I both know you don't need a formal educational establishment. Are you scared, Brinley? Intimidated by me being here? No, I... <clears throat> would have liked a heads up is all. Why? Robots can't cohabitate with your precious humans? Precious humans? What? No! Holiday, I just meant... You want to stay top dog. Is that it? You're a machine, which means you can be the best at everything. Math, science, wind instruments. And we both know that's cheating. So I guess I'm just wondering... If you're going to... Take advantage of my talents? Hardly seems fair. Plus, no need for unnecessary attention, right? Right, right. And I promise I'll keep your secret. Cool beans. Then we understand each other. You'll keep quiet and I'll dumb it down. Well, I wouldn't put it that way. Okay, class, let's get in our seats. Yesterday's brain buster word problem is still on the board. Anyone able to work out the answer? Miss Mallon, I think I got it. Three hours and 45 minutes. What? Holiday, that's correct. Can anyone explain how Holiday got this answer? Sure, I can. It's a complex word problem. You have to assume a variable for the speed of the boat, b, and the speed of the river, r, and then solve the initial equation as a series of three, first solving for the distance, then for the speed of the river, and then use that to find the speed of the boat. So you can work backwards into how long it took to get from point b to a, as opposed to a to b, by using negative r. What happened to under the radar? I thought we were good. Oh, we're just fine. But I don't dumb down for anyone. So don't ever try to show me up ever again. Or I'll make you a credit. Huh? Girls, is there a problem? So sorry, Miss Mallon. I'm just so excited to be back home with my old friend, Brinley A. Pasternak. Holiday, I know it's been a while, but the rules are the same. No phones in class. Oops. Can't seem to silence it. Excuse me, I'll just take care of this in the hall. What was that? For the millionth time, don't call me again. I will not let you ruin this for me. <laughs> <laughs>